Ahorita. Pero quizás está... No Hola, sé. teacher. Ya vine. Back. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Hi, teacher. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's look at the first section. Give me mm. one second. In what section do you remember that we finished yesterday? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, eh, hmm? 2.8, 2.8. Uh, what, what information do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer que vimos? Estuvimos hablando. Estábamos es viendo las preposiciones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Prepositions. For example, uh, on. In front uh, of. In front of. Benin. 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 On. On. Next. Next to. Next to. And under. And under. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. The topic was, what's this? And we stopped on 2.9 prepositions. We're gonna do a little review at this moment. for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. 
Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Uh, I can see that you guys already did this activity. Do you have any questions? Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen. All right, we're going to look at the knowledge check. Knowledge check instructions. Look at the pictures and put the correct answers in the blank. Then listen and check your answers. Instrucciones. Miremos las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Posteriormente, escuche y compruebe sus respuestas. Did you guys do this activity already? ¿Ya hicieron esta actividad? Sí. No. Yo no. Ok. Le vamos a dar 10 minutos para que la complete. Si ya terminó, puede continuar. Tiene 10 minutos. Pueden trabajar en pareja. Ok. Ah, pues ayúdame. Yo esta no la entendí, la verdad. Es que este es el audio. Quiero ver. Pero es que yo, yo no la entendí. Vea. Quiero ver. Espérame, me voy a meter. Solo una hice. Y a la, es que ahorita las estaba haciendo, la verdad. Y me metí medio al audio y sentí que no la entendí. <ríe> que muy rápido. Ve. La primera. <ríe> Ve. Siquiera creo que puedo poner ya. el audio. Ya, ya viste que hay el primer caso de coronavirus. Sí. Y dicen que el presidente está casi llorando. <ríe> Ay, no. Vaya, sí, porque del primero, yo digo que es porque dice the books are es the books are in the book bag in the book bag. Yes. Hola. In the book bag. Uh -huh. In the book bag. De, de mochila, de mochila. O de bolsa. Ajá. Book. Ajá. Book. Back. Y una parte back. Ajá. Ajá. La otra. De. de... Yeah. Is next to the Y eh, is, va a empezar, next uh -huh. to the TV. TV, ah, ok. Una otra. Number three. Is under, under the newspaper. De de nuevo. De, a newspaper, junto. Como papel nuevo, periódico. Ajá. Junto va. Newspaper. Uh -huh. News con S. Uh -huh. Newspaper. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La otra. The mat is under the newspaper. The chair is behind the desk. Behind the, the desk. D. 
behind the desk. B. ¿Cómo escribo B? Behind. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The desk. D-E-S-K, que es escritorio. Esa es on the purse. On de sobre. Uh -huh. Está sobre purse, que es um, cartera o bolsa. No me equivoco. Purse. Purse. O sea que todas tienen que ver con las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La otra es... Esa es in front of the address book. Enfrente... In front... In front of the address book. Ahí vamos a la sesión. Address book. ¿Eso cómo lo escribe? Address. Address book.
All right, all right. Let us move forward, ladies and gentlemen. Who can tell me the answer for number one? Number one, please. Show me the answer. Carla, can you give me the answer, please? Number one, the books are? The books are in the book bag. Very good. Number two, Nelly. Okay, Liz, number two. Uh, Carla, can you do the other ones? And the DVD player is next to the TV. Mm -hmm. uh, Number three. Uh, the map is under the newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, for the chair is behind the desk. Mm -hmm. uh, five, the wallet is on the purse. Yes. And six, the cell phone is in front of the address book. Very good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and look at the next one, which is 2.11. By the end of this practice, you will learn how to share information about the location of other people's objects. Al final de esta práctica, aprenderán a compartir información sobre la ubicación de los objetos de otras personas. Where are Kate's things? Knowledge check instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Instrucciones. Escuche la conversación y seleccione la respuesta correcta. You will have 10 minutes. Practice in pairs, 10 minutes. Hello. Carla. Hola. Wendy. Ya escuchaste el audio. Sí. Si quieres se lo ya ya la hizo usted, no. Por ahí voy. Pero si quieres lo pongo. Sí. Sí. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh. Here they are, in my purse. Dice que... Where the Kate Erin? Este, le pregunta... ¿A qué personas estás? Under... Es abajo de la mesa. Y dice que no, que está... Dentro de su... Bolso, in the purse. Mm -hmm. Now, where's my watch? Uh, what? You know, answer. Just a question. 
Hola, Margarita. Hola, mire, no escuché bien qué fue lo que dijiste que hiciéramos. Que escucháramos, termináramos este. Aula, check. ¿Practicar eso? Ajá, contestarlo. El excelente. ¿Qué punto, ¿Qué punto es? Es el 2.12. Ahorita. Wendy ya contestó la dos. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ay, vale. Le dije. Es I from of televisión. Hola. Hola. Ya terminó el examen. Sí, eso sí. Ok. Seguro. Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuestas, sí, no, y las preguntas interrogativas, las cuales aprenderemos en futuras lecciones. Me imagino que esto es de lo que va a ser ahorita. Ajá. Lo podemos ir viendo mientras nos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, mientras nos saca. ¿Y qué le dio ahí? Next. Ajá, sí, next. Es ya el 3.1. Ah, sí, 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 aquí lo tengo. Hay un diálogo, ¿verdad? Solo me aparecen unas letras ahorita. Mm. Me aparece 3.0 y me aparece una letra. Bueno, pero ya no va a salir, ya no va a sacar. Ya no va a sacar, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check your answers. Who wants to do the first one? ¿Quién quiere ser la primera? Nelly? Yes. Number one, please. Where are uh, No sé cómo se pronuncia. Eso sería earrings. 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 In the purse. In the purse, okay. The, purse. Uh, the next one, Carla. Where is Kate's watch? In front of television. Excellent. Nelly, number three. Where are Kate's sunglasses? 
on the chair. On the chair, very good. Uh, Liz, number four. Where is case address book? Under the table. Perfect. Okay, let's look at the following one. For the following one, what we're going to be looking at after this uh, activity right here, we're going to be moving on. Give me just a sec. I think the internet's slow today. Section 3.0. In this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes, no questions and WH questions, which we will learn in future lessons. En esta clase, escucharán una conversación titulada, ¿Eres tú de Seoul? Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuestas sí y no, y las preguntas interrogativas, las cuales aprenderemos en futuras lecciones. Hi everyone, in this class you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. All right. So right now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of minutes and I want you to practice the conversation in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. I want you to practice at least 10 times. Let's go. Hi everyone. In this class, you listen to the title, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how uh, yes, no, and WH questions are used. California, Jessica. Te cargo, no. No, no, no. Wendy. Sí. Como ya parece un nombre de un teléfono. <laughs> es que lo que pasa es que no he podido configurar como tenía well, otro dispositivo family. conectado ahí. Ah. Ay, no, no me carga. Supuestamente los mandaron ayer, creo, hoy no han llegado. 
Ah, igual, y no llegaron allá. Ya encontré la conversación. Y ahorita estoy entrando, pero me sale borroso. Creo, quiero ver, creo que la puedo poner yo de aquí. Espera. Pero a ver si la puedo. Tengo ver. mal internet porque no me está saliendo bien. Mira, la ve. No la ve. Me sale completamente borroso. Ahí. Como, como que tuviese miopía yo. <ríe> eh, yo tengo. <ríe> ¿Mm -hmm? Yo tengo, le digo. Sí, no lo la grabé. <ríe> no lo la grabé. No, es que me sale así, como que estuviese viendo de lejos. Pero leo que dice ahí, Tim, ¿are you from California, Jessica? Ajá. ¿De, Ay, ¿de dónde lo sabían? ¿De su pantalla o de la mía? Ah, ah, que te la tiene, que estaba en la otra, pero ahorita voy entonces. Estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Ah, ok, ahí sí la veo. No. <risa> Are you from este, California, Jessica? Jessica? Yo le pregunto, usted me contesta. Are you from right. California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the young. Mire, ya me está saliendo pantallita ahí. Mm, me, me están saliendo las rayitas de colores. ¿Eh? No veo. Jesus. So is you first. Voy a ver si, si vuelvo a entrar. Voy a ver si. Sí. Porque ya, ya me está saliendo ahí. Las líneas de la. Sí, las líneas de la. Y este no permite trazar ni, ni alimentar. Ay, no. Voy a terminarlo y lo voy a volver a poner. Voy de nuevo. Cuatro. Mm. Es que me está saliendo el cuatro, la sección cuatro. Nada. Ahorita voy a la tres, tres punto uno, ¿verdad? Sí. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Korea. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Ya lo puse de nuevo. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Ya le salió, ¿no? Ya. Ve. Ok. ¿Usted me pregunta o yo pregunto? Mm, si quiere, yo pregunto ahorita. Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We we are from Dai Dai Jeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, yes, it is. It is. 
me, ni siquiera yo contesto. Ok, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. So it's the first language, Korean? Yes, it is. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are we are from Daijan. 